Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, every data science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called find the total time spent by each employee and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 16th video of this series called find total time spent by each employee. And if I look at the company, this question has been asked adobe and amazon so kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called employees with four different columns employee id event day event time and out time combined columns employee id event day and in time is the primary key for of this table the table shows the employees entries and exits in an office event day is the day at which this event happened in time is the minute at which the employee entered the office and out time is the minute at which they left the office in time and out time are between 1 and 1440 it is guaranteed that no two events on the same day intersect in time and in time is always less than out time okay we are asked to write the solution to calculate the total time in minutes spent by each employee on each day at the office note that within one day an employee can enter and leave more than once the time spent in the office for a single entry is out time minus in time order of the result does not matter okay so basically if we need is for every particular day and employee id what is the total time spent in the office so for example on 28th of november 2020 employee id 2 had two instances first in time was 4 and out time was 32 so 32 minus 4 that is 28 minutes and then a second instance where in, in time is 55 minutes and out time is 200 so 145 minutes spent so total time spent on 28th of november 2020 by employee id 1 is 28 plus 145 that is 173 and similarly for all others and that is how you have in your output so basically this is not a very difficult question all we have to do was we need to group by the event day because for every particular day and employee id so group by the event day and the employee id and find the difference and sum that up so what we need to do is from this table called employees let's group by the event day and then by employee id and then return the event day and this should be aliased as day because that is what we need in our output then we also need the employee id and what we need is we need the difference between out time and in time that is going to give you for every event how much time is spent in the office and for every event day and em employee id we need to sum that up so sum of out time minus in time okay and this should be aliased as total time okay so now since we do not need to order this by anything let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it so we pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So not a very difficult question. All we had to do was for every particular event day and the employee ID. So we grouped by that and then we needed to find out the total time spent in the office. And the question says that time spent in the office in a single entry is out time minus in time. Since we are grouping by if once you have the total times in each of the entries for a particular employee ID on a particular day, you just simply sum that up and you get the total time. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video